Hey everyone, this is Captain Pat LP. Hammer. Well, uh, I don't know why I said introduce my fr- myself first because because usually this is my LP technically, but oh whatever, it's just force of habit. All right, let's get on with it. We're going to play Star Trek Conquest here. Well, more or less, I am. Or you are anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second LP. This is Hammer's second LP. So uh, I'm just gonna do TV only. Yep. Don't need this, really. Not really. Nope, don't need a game pad. I'm gonna need a nut chuck. Alright. It's Nintendo Wii. Yeah, this is kind of for the Nintendo Wii here, so... Yeah, school only ended last week. Alright, so now this is kind of the first time I'm recording off a Windows 10 laptop, so... I'm hoping there's not too many bugs in it. <laughs> I mean, that's the last thing I actually Well, we only with. finished school just recently, too. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really give this computer a full purge. I probably should do that every now and then, but... Uh, I gave one of my laptops a full purge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what this game is all about. This, this is made by Bethesda, the same makers of Skyrim. And a couple other games. Also, I think it's um, Star Trek Legacy, if you ever played that. Never have. CBS owns... Paramount owns Star Trek. So, so yeah, this is basically... Um, Stardate. <laughs> Stardate 411 It's type of conflict. Major races are at war. Diplomacy is dead. Age-old alliances forgotten. The galactic borders ignored as each race battles for supremacy. Powerful fleets prowl the galaxy, establishing outposts and vanquishing indigenous and enemy fleets alike. Yay. So I like those graphics. Yeah. <laughs> really. Alright, I'm going to be doing the campaign mode of each of the races. Mm-hmm. I've been playing this longer than you have. Yeah. So, Hammer will be going through each of the race on medium level. Yeah. Uh, I've been debating who to start. Each race has its own special weapons and different kinds of admirals from the special weapons for the Federation or Subspace Disruptor, which basically breaks system links to um, enemy systems. The Genesis device, which is basically the weapon of mass destruction, which basically um, destroys every... causes severe damage to forces in a system. And the healing device, which repairs all ships and um, stations in a system. The different types of admirals for each... Um, I'm just using this as an example, but... The admirals are attack, which means the admiral has bonus attack to them. Defense basically means they're def- they're, they do well in defensive situations when they're attacked. Not great attackers, but still. And movement means they move a lot can move to many system, different systems in a single turn because this is a turn-based game. Of course, for the Federation, you got the Galaxy, Intrepid, and Defiant. Defiant's the Scout. Intrepid is the uh, Cruiser. Galaxy is the Battleship. And it's it. that's just basically the ratings for its industries and facilities. Mm-hmm. But each race has got their advantages. Federation's pretty well-balanced. Klingons, yeah. very powerful ships and stuff, but they t- it tends to cause problems with the economy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they got two attack admirals, one defense, no movement admirals, and they're very their ships get, and structures are very expensive. And also, the up each species have upgrades too. You can do when you have research stations because they're two. There's like. The different kind of stations are star bases. You got the regular star base and the advanced star base. And, and like, the advanced star base will cost you a pretty amount of resources. Mm-hmm. The regular star base is the cheapest, but it's still kind of pricey at times, depending on the race. Mm-hmm. And also, you got turrets, which you can put around your star base for defensive purposes. There's also a secondary star two secondary structures you can build a research station which will help you research upgrades and also build up towards your special uh, special weapons like for the Cleons you got the wormhole generator which you can activate at your home world 
and to any non home world system basically kind of take a cheap way into enemy territory. <laughs> and you got the virus emitter, which practically negates an enemy commander's um, experience. So, oh, yeah, <laughs> Romulans. Their buildings are cheap, but at the same time, they don't really... They got mostly defense admirals, which I don't really care. They do have great... I just like the fact that their stuff is cheap, yes. But they these they don't have the, any, like, offensive... Um, many offensive um, special weapons. The only thing they got is the virus emitter, which is Sarah Banshee, and I don't really like using that. Mm-hmm. So, Breen, they got a lot of defense admirals, but they at least have one movement admiral. Oh, pulse device. It basically freezes enemy into a star system. <laughs> that means that fleet cannot move. Ooh, don't, don't, don't. And their ships are very maneuverable. Uh, I forgot. I think their buildings are also cheap. I don't don't remember offhand. It's been a, it's been a while since I played this game. Mm-hmm. Cardassians, oh, they got the my favorite Genesis device. I love that thing. <laughs> they got those. They got two movement admirals, so they you can move move far. So you only get three admirals for each race. So, and but yeah, basically those are their ships. I'll be going into more detail as I play each race. Dominion, two attack, one movement admiral. And there's their ships. Basically, um, and who do you think I should start with? Well, I think we discussed it. You wanted to do the Klingon and the Romulans first because there's the there's the worst ones in terms of. Well, they take forever. Yes. Yeah, because I've heard in other Let's Players when the other Let's Players do this, they do take a great amount of time to you know build up and well Klingons especially. Yeah, I'm gonna do one hard race and one easy race. I'll do another hard race later on, but I'm going to start with one hard race, yes. Yeah, okay. I guess I will start with the Klingons. All right, so the plan on being this being like a, maybe a 30 or 40 part episode. Depending how long it takes. Yeah, because this is kind of like, this game is kind of like Risk in some ways. Have you ever played Risk before? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that, almost, and essentially. So. Okay, um, next. Uh, you got your three admirals. You start out with one. For the Klingons, you got Martok, Katamok. He was from a Next Generation episode. He only appeared one. And you got Nudak. He was from that Next Generation episode involving the... Um, the sir, That ancient alien program where... With the Cardassians, the mm. the chase, the chase, it was called Ooh, the chase. Where <laughs> in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> but I'm gonna start with Martok. Mm-hmm. Uh, medium. And we're gonna do max opponents for medium. For the difficulty, the rules vary. Um, I'll just go through each of them. Mm-hmm. Easy. You start with 200 million credits. Fog of War is off. You can see everything. For medium, you get 150 million credits, but the fog of war is on. Hard, you get 100 million, and the fog of war is on. But I'm doing medium because I have not beaten everything on. Are there like six opponents? No, there's six species, five opponents. Oh, you can't go. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, never mind. All right, you're one of them. Oh, yeah, that's true. You get six races, but yeah. Basically, that's everybody. Yeah. So we're gonna be the d- dogs of war. Status report. Well, with Martok, yeah. This is the status screen at the beginning of each and term. How many systems everybody has? Neutral systems. You gotta fight for against minor races. You have to fight against them just to take possession of them. Kind of like the oh, what was the campaign in Risk? I can't remember. It was the not the normal mode, but there was like um. Scenario mode. Scenario mode, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Basically, you can go through your status update, statuses of these. I don't generally go through them because I already know and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, you got how many bases, how many systems, the level of tech in the systems, uh, mining, income efficiency, and research. Yeah. Report. 
and what you have in your fleets. Research. I am gonna be hit. Head, I'm gonna be attacking using mostly the battleships. So yeah, and this is your research. What the Klingons can research and for upgrades. Everybody has their own unique ones. Yeah, for each research pile, there's three levels to them, so you have to... Yeah, well, I'm going to get the game started. You can go ahead. Oh, no. So every, for every research you do, you have, like, three um, research levels you have yeah. to complete, so... But I'm going to be using mostly Dreadnoughts. I'm going to get started with two of them for Martok. But basically, the entire galaxy, I can't see every where everybody is, but I pretty much know where they are because I've played this enough. I'm going to head up this way because the Romulans are up this way. The Ferengi! The Ferengi! Ah, those are pods. I'm just going to... You got... This is the tactical mode. You can choose arcade, which is more control over it. You got A for the simulator. Press A for the simulator, which basically you have minimal control and you get to see the fight on this screen. We've got instant by pressing the minus key, but... Or you can press 1 to retreat. Uh, I'm just going to do the simulator. Whoa! Yeah. I'm just going to down the screen. I'm, I could have done this. That's good. I should have done <laughs> That's what happens. Plus, you get experience points for promotions. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go into the... I didn't want Kronos, but this is basically the system screen. Yeah. This is, you only can create fleets in your, and super weapons in your home system. And the repair rates based on the kind of star base you have in the system. Mm. But this is basically it. Jot all those notes down, kids, because you're going to see a lot. <laughs> well, you're going to be stopping, too. Yeah, I know, I know. But Martok only can move one space per turn, so I'm just going to... Build. Yeah, mining colonies. That's about all I can do. I'm gonna be advancing up this way towards the Romulans because I know the Romulans are up in that corner. I mean, it's not. It's not um, a mystery to the universe. Well, I know where everything is. For <laughs> Cardassia. So I'm just sitting here waiting. It, it's happened before. I've seen other Let's players do this game. So, I, it's been like one time I've seen that. The, I think it was. Can I interrupt real quick? Go ahead, sir. At the beginning of each turn, you come back to here, so you just gotta start your turn. Okay, go ahead. All right. No, I was just saying. Um, it depends, you know, what's going on. But ooh, this is fun. The tactical cues are the cruisers and the spears of the scouts. Uh, so you're actually gonna do this, huh? Yeah. I, th these guys, I always do this on the board. Okay. Uh, uh oh, they're right on top of me when I come out. Alright, you press. Um, Alright, where's my cursor? Alright. I'm having trouble seeing my damn cursor. Alright, there it is. Alright. Do you know how to play this? Do you mind explaining this? Um, yeah, you can. You're moving around this map, is what you're doing. You're trying to. Um. I don't know the exact controls, but you... You're... I'll explain that in a sec, as soon as I... Right. Basically, the rings around these ships are at your shields, your shield capabilities, but you're only able to repair once you get to the star base. Or well, once you're turning. Yeah. I'll... Right, I'm gonna... You can take different formations. You can take an attack formation. Where or you, you could attack individually. You press down on the control pad... You order your ships to group up with you, and they'll fire at the tar fire when you fire. Yeah. A is phasers or disruptors. B is photon torpedoes. Okay. And this is the victory, victory of the beast screen where you get your experience. But I don't like the Klingons because they're slow getting themselves going, and I'm concentrating on getting my economics. Mining colony constructed. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Might as well create another fleet. Cost thirty-two million for the Klingons. Oh, I'm gonna get new dad. Holding position. And you can only build ships at systems you have star bases. You see, I got the Ufandi sys, Narendra, and Kittimer system so far, along with Kronos. All right, so let's turn number two. Can't really do anything. 
I know where the Federation is. Yeah, they're kind of two more, more to the left of Kratos. Well, they're sort of four seven. For Cardassia. For the founders. I wish I knew what the hell those guys were up to. That's and they could be conquering each other. Who knows? Yeah, you never know. True. Oops. <laughs> Of course, you can save at the beginning screen, too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna advance up here. Oh! <laughs> with, with that battleship, I'm gonna do it this way. We would find it. Like we got board. these little things here, so... I might show up for each system. Okay. There you go, Magnus Saints. That was that one episode with Worf. Oh, yeah, I Towards the end. I prefer keeping my ships grouped together. I got one. I got two. I need to get that marauder. Yeah. Oh, you can let your weapons recharge for more powerful bursts. See the recharge thing? In the corner there? Mm -hmm. Now, the longer you let it recharge, the more powerful your fire bursts are. I always try to come at an angle where their shields are the weakest. Or way. where they're down, yeah. Because that, that, that's where you can incur the most damage you know, destruction, of course. Yeah, and also the cursor is necessary when you're firing your photon torpedoes, because they'll, they'll go. And also, you can destroy a chef off screen. So you don't have to be precisely on target. The target. All right. Promotion game. I got a promotion. The brigadier general. No, just brigadier. A brigadier. All right. So yeah, they're gonna build another refinery because he kind of is mining, mining colony constructed. Yeah, you also want to kind of like build, you know, fortify some of your systems, or else you're gonna. Um, you might have on it, gas with yeah. the Generator. Yeah, you do want to kind of. Uh, I'm gonna keep New Deck there because he's safe. I'm just worrying about my economy right now. For the, for the Empire. For the Confederacy. For Cardassia. And so far, everyone's still in play. We're gonna be cutting off, at, stopping the video occasionally. I'm gonna be... Well, in about five minutes, we'll definitely end the episode, so... Well, there are gonna be times where I'm gonna be standing still. As soon as I get this system, I'm gonna probably be sitting still for a while. So. Alright, I'm gonna hit this system. It's the Ferengi! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Alpha Omicron... Dub is Junior. That episode will be on Bronx. Mm -hmm. Alright, so easy peasy. And of course, if you're gonna look, you'd also lose the battle if you go too far off the premises. Or you retreat. Or you retreat. Yeah. Occasionally I do that. Something's hit. It's kind, of, it, it's kind of difficult unless you don't you know what you're really doing. I mean, well, you're kind of working two controls at once. <laughs> true, true. You can cramp your hands pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, this game takes a lot of patience and a lot of agility. Alright, I am gonna hold there. Okay, yeah, that. Yeah. I'm not gonna advance for a little while. I'm got, I gotta right, build out my forces some. Okay. Because I'm kind of overextended, anyways. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I'm probably gonna spend the next couple turns just um, building in my resources. Okay. This is for Earth. Alright, so probably at the end of the next turn, we'll go ahead and end the episode. Well, I'm not advancing, oh, so... Cardassia. Well, I might advance down there where New Dad the is in Kronos. I'm gonna advance, yes. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna get him some resources. Infrastructure report. And I will advance soon. I'm gonna get him. Red constructed. Holding position. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to get a star base. Yeah, might as well you say suggest that. But I will demonstrate the instant probably next one. Okay. Well, here we go. I'm probably gonna at least advance several turns while we get ready for the next episode, at least. So, um, yeah, I guess we could do that. Well, because I'm probably gonna be sitting a little bit. I'll probably advance a few systems, but that's about it. But we'll give our way up Yeah, we'll get. Because yeah, um, for these hard races, yeah, it's kind of required. Because I'll be sick. Alright, I took the Arcanus Sector. Target neutralized. Alright. Alright, so are you done with this turn then? Yeah, I am. I can't advance any. Well, I could advance with Martok, but. Yeah, I, I am not. Oh, I will. Just that. <laughs> Establish down some terms. But so, that's about it. That is all you're going to do. Alright guys, well that is all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching in the next episode. I think in between episodes it's going to be more fortification. Um, I am going to advance maybe two or three systems. But I'm not going to do much. Uh -huh. But we'll, we'll show you. Yeah. Well, I'll show you updates on what happens. All right. Well, any any advancements we'll record, but any any like mining stuff that I'll do or research will kind of cut ahead a little bit. So, until then, I've been Captain Pat LP. And we're please leave a like and subscribe to the Super Paladin Bros at superpaladinbros.com and check out our playlist section for this Let's Play and also more Let's Plays. We've never a hammer here, so I will. We will see you guys next time. Peace.